Hi folks, this is Rigitsu, and I welcome you to a cooperative Let's Play of Mario Kart 64 for the Nintendo 64, courtesy of the Project 64K emulator. I am joined by my longtime gaming bud, Joshi676. Hey, Ola! And hopefully, Millions Time is a Charm, because as you know, with emulation, it's not a perfect science, and it takes quite a bit of elbow grease to get it running at a semi-acceptable level. But I think it'll be working right today. Let's hope so. And get in there. Excellent. Oh. Welcome to Mario Kart! Okay, we're going to be doing the two-player game over Mario GP, and Mario we're not so bad that we need 50cc at least to begin with, yet we're not so skilled that we're going to take on 150cc with gusto and complete it with no sweat. So we're just going to go middle of the road, 100cc, and try to do our best. Select your player. Yahoo! Yep, I'll be player two. Yahoo! Okay. For those of you who haven't played Mario Kart 64 before, the eight racers are divided into three separate categories. The balanced characters, which are Mario and Luigi, who've got a decent balance of top speed, acceleration, and handling. The lightweights, who have um, great acceleration, but a very small top speed and poor handling. And the, uh, the heavyweights, uh, which have great top speed, but poor acceleration and average handling. Isn't Princess Peach one of the more balanced types? Yeah, she's as balanced as the lightweights get, but she's still very much a lightweight. Uh -huh. The other lightweights are Toad and Yoshi, and then DK, Bowser, and uh, Wario make up the heavyweights. Obviously, in other Mario Kart games after Mario Kart 64, the character list is expanded, but they all basically fall into those three basic groups. Pretty much. You get characters like Dry Bones, Peach, and even the baby Mario and baby Luigi's, but other than that, there's, you still pretty much have the average characters, good acceleration, bad top speed, and vice versa. Yeah. Now we're going to try to tackle all the cups, starting with the easiest, of course, Mushroom Cup. And try not to let the AI upstage us too much. <laughs> Let's see. There's a couple of hidden secrets. For instance... Uh, I didn't pull it off this time. Um, there's a race start acceleration trick. If you if you press and hold the accelerator, sometime between the second and third lights, uh, you get a speed boost at the beginning of the race. It can be really helpful, especially if they set you at the, at the back of the line. To your knowledge, are there any maps where this is especially beneficial? Um, well, this one's not bad because you start on a straightaway, but especially, I mean, it, it'll help with just about any map, I think. It's been a year since I played Mario Kart 64, though. Ditto. I did get the actual cartridge way back in the day, but I was not especially enthusiastic about it. I mean, I enjoyed it, no doubt, but I like the multiplayer component much more than the single player component, but you kind of need people around to do that, and uh, there usually wasn't a lot of people around. My household, uh, at least other kids that were skilled enough to play. Ah! Uh, I don't think so, Yoshi. Well, there's also one benefit of two player in the, is that if we want to get to the next, the next map. Only one of us has to get third place or higher, so that takes, yeah. that, take, that releases some of the burden. Man, we're just getting red shells galore. It's important, especially on the corners, that you master drifting, otherwise you're not going to get very far ahead in this game. No pun intended. Yeah. No, Princess, no! Yes, eat shells! Eat shells! Ha ha ha! 
start so far. I'm glad we updated to the latest version of Project 64. In our previous tests, we had really bad both input and uh, frame rate lag, and it made the game almost unplayable. Oh, yeah, and a plethora of latency issues that just threatened to make the whole thing not worthwhile. Yeah. But once you get emulation working perfectly, it's, it's really fun, so don't get feel too discouraged if you're having problems. Alright. This map, that mobile farm or something like that? You got it. Oh, no burst of speed. Hopefully, we'll get it by the end of this playthrough. Out of the way, princess. If you play Mario Kart 64 long enough, you'll, you'll find that there are certain characters that I know you more than others. Yep. And I'm sure for most players, his name is Luigi. Luigi. <laughs> I know, I've always... I've thought Luigi would be okay in whatever Mario game he appears in, except for the Nintendo Advance port remake, what I have you, of uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. His voice there is really shrill and annoying. Yeah. Have you played that game? Yeah. And the reason why is because they, for some for some reason, the uh, sound files ended up sped up uh, from their originals. So he's not supposed to be that shrill, and yet he is. It might have been some sort of compression or artifacting, as you know, just as a result of getting it onto such a small cartridge. I don't think he had a voice in either the original NES or SNES remake. Oh my god! He didn't, and yet they decided it would be appropriate to add one for that particular rendition. For all the characters, yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, at least you uh, retained your pole position. As long as you have a high enough average score, after all laps are factored in, you do get bumped up to a high enough position to where you will be able to progress to the next level. Uh, yeah. As it stands, though, I'm tied for second place, and you're in the lead. Uh, don't worry, we're, o we're only on the first cup. There'll be plenty of pain later on. Yeah. Ooh, boy. What is this, Yoshi's Island or something like that? Koopa, Koopa Troopa Beach or Koopa Beach? I think. That, it, that could be the SNES... Jeez, Luigi, watch out, you're a bit pushy there. That could be the original SNES map, I'm not going to Oh, great. Okay. And if you speed boost on that ramp, you'll get through that tunnel, which is a shortcut to get through most of the race. It can really help to increase your lap time, or to reduce your lap times. However, if you miss it, um, you risk falling way behind. So, weigh that risk carefully. You, you damn well better be able to thread the needle, basically. Yeah. Damn it. Don't even bother without a speed boost, such as Mushroom or Mega Mushroom. Or even the Star. I think the Star might be sufficient. But if you've got one and you're trying to get back into first place, you're probably better off just trying to get back into first place without the shortcut. Spare yourself the trouble. Have you seen the beach level on Mario Kart Wii? I have not. Neither have I. I don't know if it's any good. Mostly because I don't think I've played Mario Kart Wii yet. I spent most of my Mario Kart time after the N64 days with Mario Kart DS. Yeah, I do have that, but I never, never got much playtime in. Oh. 
Well, gotta be careful with that drift. If you, uh, if you can't handle it properly, you will turn yourself around fairly quickly. Oh, Princess Peach, you, you wench! I spun out because of a grab, and she just inched ahead of me at the last second. You got fourth again? I got second again. Yeah. Well, try to try to at least get third. That way we can end up together in the uh, yeah. the winner's circle or winner's stands. Well, I moved up to third. Nice, nice. I'd rather move down to third. Ah, oh, this level. What, the Calamari Desert or something? Yeah, it's for some reason they decided to name the desert after a squid. Or an octopus. Uh, probably because of the bloopers that are enemies from back from the original Super Mario Brothers. Because they are some sort of squid. Of course, I don't even know if they qualify as squid because they only have four tentacles. Squids have six, and octopi have eight. Oh, oh well. And, and Let's up. not let biology get in the way of naming Watch out, Watch out. Shall we? Watch out for the train. Uh, and plus, okay, I don't expertly think, navigated. And plus, I don't think squids in nature have the magical ability to create progeny that quickly out of thin air. No, probably not. I'm thinking of the... Uh... Back off, Bowser! Jackass. Um, the advantage of heavyweight racers, by the way, is if you... If you're a heavyweight and you run into another racer and that other racer isn't at top speed, you will cause them to stall. So you must have some kind of combat aptitude or combat experience and neck and neck with other drivers in order to really use their their girth to your advantage. Yeah. However, oh, crap. your weight makes you the most susceptible to shells. Because with your with your meager acceleration, it'll take you a long while to get back to your top speed. In the meantime, whoever hits you will long past you. Did you fire off that blue shell? I did. You know, it's interesting. All, all these things, all these things you say, all all these things you say are interesting because I didn't realize there was that much nuance to the game. I realized. Are you was... kidding? It's a Nintendo multiplayer game. They have all kinds of nuance in these things, which most people wouldn't read that far into because they just think, oh, it's a kids game. Watch out for the train. Oh, it's already passed. Damn fake block. Yeah, I'm really not doing well, especially around the corners. I keep running into the dirt, so... Yeah, we're... Oh. We're probably gonna have to redo this map. Damn it, I was hoping for three reds. Oh, crap! Ah, crap! I think the big guys suffer the most from the lightning bolts, because they need to bring in their top speed. Yeah. Well, it cuts their best stat in half. Uh, we're gonna pass, but unfortunately. Here we go. Damn. Damn indeed. <sighs> we both dropped. You got second place. But I got knocked out of the top three. Well, there's always next cup. Yeah. In the meantime, we're treated to uh, what I think is a beta version of the castle from Mario 64. Or Super Mario 64, whatever the game is called. Something like that, yeah. I think I see another card in the background. Do you see that? No, I, I missed that. Yeah, there was another card away from the castle. Huh. I wonder if that that might be an emulator error. I was thinking maybe it's the fourth place person. The uh, fourth place driver. <laughs> Damn you, Princess Peach. Go back yes, to Walmart, you are, Toad. Toad. Yes, you are. <laughs>
Let the poor guy enjoy his game. I mean, he has to go back to Walmart after this is over anyways. Now I'm gonna mix up. Likewise. Well. Okay, folks. Might, might as well pick the least evil <laughs> of all the heavyweight racers. Now on the flower cup. Now, he was originally a villain, wasn't he? I I still well, haven't played the original Donkey Kong game. Yeah. It, it depends. If you believe Rarer's rewritten nice. canon... Hold it off. Oh, hold it off, yeah. If you believe the rewritten canon that, that Rarer made up for Donkey Kong Country, the Donkey Kong in the original Donkey Kong was, uh, Cranky Kong, Donkey Kong's grandfather. Oh. Or father or something, and... Donkey Kong Jr. is, in fact, Donkey Kong. And that wasn't Mario in the original game? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say, because, you know, the, char the character data in the game refers to that person as Jumpman, even though it's very clearly a prototypical Mario. I'll cut Nintendo some slack, because they weren't developing an RPG. It was a platformer game. Yeah. They also, you know didn't need a name for this particular character until their rent over the Nintendo of America offices was up. Uh, uh, he, uh. he bargained with them he bargained with them um, a month of free rent in exchange for being the title character of their next game. Really? Yeah. That's the lore anyway. Oh no, the traffic is my worst enemy. Okay, uh, Mario just spun out for no reason, to my advantage, so I'm not going to question it. Let's, let's hope we're fortunate enough to not fall into hell, or... Yeah. yeah. On the turn type stage, you have to be really careful both with your... <sighs> As you probably noticed, you have to be careful with your, with your uh, drifting, so that you don't turn too far into a corner and end up turning yourself around. You have to carefully aim your shells, otherwise they'll run into the into the corners of the map instead of onto your target. And you do have to, of course, watch out for the other cars on the road. They make this very difficult. Damn you, banana peel, for absorbing my red shell. A little bit of a glitch there. Get out of the way, like Wario. Okay. Wario. Oh, damn you, Wario. Back off, Luigi. I could have done with a fight. I feel bad about knocking Peach into that truck, except that I don't. I really don't. Yeah, I see chivalry has no place on the raceway. This has nothing to do with chivalry. This has everything to do with winning a race. Hopefully I just made your job a little easier. Uh, I don't know if the blue shell even manages to manage to Uh, it made it. I don't know if it'll stop Toad in time, though. Looks like it did. No, nope, no, nope, too late. Third place finish. Well, at least we passed. Yeah. Oh, Yoshi just drove a little bit into hell. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm responding to a text message. Yeah, for a second there, Yoshi was driving through hell. Oh, great. Ice. Good boy. Okay. I think you might have an advantage here because of your character's attraction. Uh, perhaps. My ability to knock other characters out of the way certainly helped get first place. Uh... Running into that snowman, however, did not help in the least. Oh yes, the snowman. The evil snowman with their evil draw distance. Watch out, Mario's got a star. 
so do I. Of course, so do you. <laughs> uh, I swear I'm a freaking snowman magnet, man. It's par for the course when you drive a big guy. And this was a wasted star. Get out of the way, Toad. Or not. No! Watching it at home, clearly I do not like the heavyweight racers. Luigi is definitely my best. I am second place. Oh, you got bumped up to third. I mean fourth. Despite finishing seventh. I guess everybody who did okay last round did really bad this time. Well, here we go. Arrow turns a plenty. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna suffer so badly here. Oh. Give me a... Damn oh, it. man. Ugh. Oh, come on! Aw, oh, man! Well, you got, uh, leveled out? Leveled out it? Uh, I screwed up on a drift and ended up down in the base of, the, uh, of this cavern, and then I stalled. Cows are almost knocking me off the side. Sure. Okay, I am really not doing well this race. I, I think I've barely, pretty much lost the race for myself, just now. Screw you, Bowser. Here, this should help. Watch out for the blue shell. I'll try. And, of course, I hit the banana instead of any of the power-ups. Did the blue shell just hit you? I don't know. I, I don't know if it was blue. It didn't look red, though. It looked like it was blue. It kept going right through you. Get out of the way, Mario. I'm a freaking Mia. I don't even know why I'm bothering. I don't. I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of catching up this map. Your lightning bolt robbed my red shell of its seeking ability. And I just threw a blue shell that went right at the wall. 
screw you, Bowser. Mario, Mario, no, Mario, no, Mario, no, Mario, no. That's right, folks. Two blue shells thrown right at the wall. Were you shrunk when you threw that through them? No, they just went right to the wall. Mm, I think we still progressed. The music is making Yeah, me feel you got awful. a fourth place finish. I could have sworn I needed a third place finish. Nope. Hey, I am but... a third place though. We've pretty much lost this cup though. We can't outscore Toad on the last race. So this next race is just basically shot at Freud on the game's behalf. Just laughing Pretty at Pretty much. Us. Nobody can overtake Toad. He's won all three he's run, you know, three of the four races. Get back here, Wario. Oh my goodness. I just ran into the fence and I got pulled back in. I didn't even fall out of the map, I just ran straight into the fence. Toad! Fuck off! <laughs> also, my, apo my apologies for my lack of self-censorship for those who uh, are uh, faint of their uh, ability to hear swear words. I think you've been reasonably constrained so far. I don't mind an occasional swear, but uh, some other Let's players just like to throw an expletive for every other word, basically. Oh, Toad! 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 Lucky you, you had the immunity. Wasn't immune from that, unfortunately. Yeah, Toad, Toad you speed free. guy on? Amphetamines? Well, he is a mushroom, you know. Yeah, but usually those slow things down, not speed them up. All I'm saying is maybe he can generate his own form of drug. Maybe. Maybe in the mushroom kingdom, mushrooms work the opposite way. Maybe he's just a really fun guy. Well, at least we technically passed the level, even though we didn't actually pass it. Yeah. <sighs> Dag. I think you should go back to Luigi. Yeah. I think so, too. But, at least those watching have a good grasp of how the different cart weights handle. Did any of us even reach the top three? I think I did. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Wow, with, I'm surprised how well I'm doing with very little practice. I, I haven't said this before, but I'm not exactly big on racing games in general. There are only a few that I really like. I'm, I'm not aware they're good at them either. To put things in perspective, if you play any sort of Grand Theft Auto game with me, the way you'll probably describe me is, he should probably not be driving the getaway car. I'm pretty sure Josh and I are more of the RPG kind of players, slow, deliberate, thinking man gaming types. Yeah, that describes us pretty well. Let's both try to get in the top three this time. Yeah. Mario Grand Prix. All right, folks. Uh, I'm gonna try mix mixing it up. Oh, you're getting Mario. I'll get Mario. All right. It's only gonna get worse from here. I swear, this cup's actually harder than the special cup. Got it! Nice. 
This is where drifting comes in really handy. So yep. Tight turns in Wario Stadium. Of course, I'm only repeating what I've learned. I haven't actually mastered it, but it's still true. It's pretty handy for getting those question blocks. Yeah. Or for cutting in front of somebody who's actually trying to take one from you. Like a certain dinosaur. Mama freaking Mia. Don't be afraid to let your green shells run amok. Eventually they'll hit somebody. Hopefully it won't be you. And also don't do what I just did and drift too early. It does not pay off. Oh, I really want to the bolts. Like any other platforming title, you do have to time everything. got second place so far. What the? DK just kind of faded out on my screen. Like that, that, that happens sometimes. It's not a ghost pickup either, a ghost item. Damn you, Toad, damn you. It, the, the AI character just sometimes, sometimes fade at random. It's especially irritating on the Calamari Desert because when you're crossing the train track, sometimes they'll go ghost and just cast right through the train. Yes, sorry oh, about that. That's alright. I just had to delay the other characters. You do what you gotta do, man. Damn it. Did you stall on a jump? No, I uh, I, I veered too far to the right on a jump and slammed into the wall. Oh. Not good. Yeah. Damn you, Peach. I am stealing gold digger. Ah! That was close. It almost sounded like you were missing it out. Thanks for that. Let's keep this up. One lap to go. Don't get cocky, kid. DK! I don't freaking think so, Peach. I must say, I don't usually endorse products at random, but the Microsoft 360 controllers for Windows is handling an ancient racing game fairly well. What about you? Um, I'm using the Afterglow PS3 controller that uses a wireless dock, and it's, uh, it's not doing too bad. I'm, I do sometimes have that tendency, tendency to spin out on long drifts, but... Otherwise, I think I'm handling all right. That's a third market. That's Sorry third for that, by the way. No problem. That's a third party model, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, watch out. You got Bowser. I mean, not Bowser, but Donkey Kong closing in. Lightning Bolt, get ready. Boom. Oh. Watch out for the banana peel to the left on the bumps. Gotcha. Another banana peel coming up. They got DK. Ironically. Damn you, princess. Oh no. This isn't the DS era Mario Kart games where um, doing progressive drifting where you where you shift your wheels, if you can do it three times, you'll end up with a speed boost. That's cool. 
Yeah. Uh, we did pretty well, all things considered. This is 100 CC, of course, but still, I'm surprised we got it. We got so far ahead. Yeah. Nice. Let's keep it up. Oh. Uh oh. No. Ice again. And pitfalls. And penguins. This is the one map, map where I would probably recommend against trying to get the opening speed boost. If you're not careful, you're liable to run right off the course. Whoa! Missile spam, but no more bananas. <laughs> I was lucky to miss this one. But you caused quite a pile up there. Good! Damn you, Toad! and Peach again! What do they do? Uh, Damn you, Wario. I just can't see to outrun them. Oh, if I didn't know how to drift, I would have slammed right into that penguin. Yes! One of my leftover bananas got DK. Yeah! I just heard, I, you tilt the stick back or uh, forward or back while I, holding an item to try and throw it the other way. You may not be successful if you're using an aftermarket controller. I love passing by some of the characters and hearing them scream in terror for whatever reason. You two again! Get out of my way! Oh! Warning, folks, if you fire your shell and you're along an edge, your shell may just go into the water. I hit myself with my own shell, I can't believe that. Uh, yeah, I also just hit myself with my own shell. And then Toad ran into the shell I was going to throw at Toad, so... Yeah. Oh. Damn you, Warrior, for absorbing my shell. Damn you, Penguin. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah, but we might end up progressing anyway. We yeah. just keep going to fourth place. I just would have liked to retain a higher score. Yeah, likewise. Here we go. Later games, I believe, have motorcycles. What are the advantages of those over the regular go karts? Um, they're oh, faster. Oh yeah, that's the Wii version. I should have, I should have realized. Maybe you're not so familiar with that. Yeah. Um. Well, I may have actually. I know. I think Double Dash also had uh, two-person bikes. That was on the GameCube. Yeah, I have that as well. But I can't remember any motorcycles on it. And go. Oh. Dang. Uh, another narrow, narrow roadway. Gotta love it. Okay, you two need to stop running into me so I can get my drift on. Peach and, and Donkey Kong? Yeah. And I think, well, I think I just lost the race in the third race. I just lost any chance at the cup I might have had in the third race again. Come on, use your items if you're gonna. Try anyone? 
Might as well show them how the retry works anyway. Well, that put an end to my star screen. Drifting really comes in handy here. Yeah, yeah, if you're good at it. Somehow I have been just absolutely failing in my drifting the last couple of races. Somehow that managed to miss you. What? I... <laughs> I had a lightning power up and it didn't zap you. Haha, uh -huh, Donkey Kong, you just slammed into a question block. Oh! Eat it, princess. No! Great. It's alright. Haha, uh -huh, Donkey Kong. No! Is that you again? Yep. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. There's. I don't think there's any way at all I'm gonna be catching up to them anytime soon. Well, I might. I might, fi I might not finish last. You know, if my red shells actually hit a target, and that isn't me. Donkey Kong just ghosted. What the hell is going on with this game? It's probably about the third time we've seen him ghost. Oh, I landed, and the impact of the jump made me get clear of... Uh, banana, banana peel. That was nice. Nice. No, Donkey Kong, no! Yep, I've lost. See, you'll do too. Yeah, you bounce out of the banana peel. Yeah, that's the third time I go into the grass. Maybe this time I won't get into the water trying to get a power up? I think I'm gonna get hanging with uh, all thanks to you teaching me how to drift. You're right, it does take practice, but once you've mastered that, those tight turns are not so scary anymore. Like I said, I probably should not be the getaway driver. Oh, I hate Bowser's Castle with burning passion. Unless you do that. What did you Don't drift do right? that. Did you drift right into a flop block? No, I drifted right into a corner. Don't do that. But yeah, also, don't drift into thwomp. Or a fake item block. Like I said, I hate this map. I hate it. Likewise. The, I hate it in the DS version. I'll probably hate it in the Wii version as well. Uh, okay, good thing I let go of the gas, or I would have gone right off the bridge. You know, I couldn't remember this map being so bad on the DS version. No, there are a few greats, I believe. Uh, I don't think it's quite as likely. Oh,
swamp. Duh. Um, I'm fairly certain I just ran into the swamp and blew him up. With the star. Yeah. Maybe not. It just looked like that. And Bowser just activated a star at random around me. Oh. Okay, I got a feeling we're gonna have to redo this one. Go, use this blue shell, I call you. Swamps are the most difficult part. We just need to navigate around yeah. them. Yeah. Yes! Out of the way! Now keep up that advantage. That's gonna be hard. Sorry, but we just can't do it. 
Oh look, the coloration got fixed. uploaded some YouTube commenters will have some probably not so kind words to say about our drifting. That's just how it goes. But hey, we never promised to be professional, so that's their problem. Yeah. Go blue shell! You won't be able to see a nice little victory celebration or anything like that, but at least we showed this map off. We are just going to have to yeah, back out, but we'll still do the other cup. Mario Grand Prix. Select your player. I think I'm going back to my mainstay. I've got a feeling that this this cup's actually easier because there is no Bowser's castle. Okay, that was really weird. The uh yeah. the light cube, he just sped up there for a second. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. It's going just a little bit nuts right now. What, sorry, what's going a bit nuts? The frame rate seems to be going just a little bit nuts. I know, I'm worried. Why is the game so spastic? <laughs> I guess the emulator can't quite handle this map, or it handles it a little too well. It, it played fine for me in single player. Likewise. <laughs> well folks, this is Mario Kart this is Mario Kart 64 Cocaine Edition. Ah, damn you. Mario! I'll tell you what though, one plus is that the humiliation gets here a lot more quickly. Yeah. It's not drawn out. Ah! And your rescues are a lot more quick too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The speeding, the speediness is fun until you have to turn a corner by a body of water. You didn't 
have to toggle a fast forward button, did you? No, I don't. Okay, why the speed seems a bit more sane, I think. No, oh, never mind. Oh my goodness, the mushroom is, makes me way too fast. Set this at 150 cc, did you? I don't think so. Even if I, even if I did, I don't think the game moves this quickly. Well, at least we passed. I uh, hope the next map is not quite this spastic. <laughs> Insult to injury. A little engine that quite couldn't. That was different to say the least. That was pathetic. Please don't speed up. Finally, something a bit more sane. Um, that's weird. What? Look at the position sensor in the middle. Oh, that is weird. It's because of the multiple paths you can take. You don't really know who's in what place, I think, until you get to a certain point. Well... well I'm at the back, that's for sure. For some reason, I have really bad memories of this level. Let's find out who's in first place, shall we? Okay, I was wrong. This cup is officially worst. Okay, insult to injury, it takes me forever to hit the bottom. That is bull. This is officially worse than the Star Cup. Effectively wasted my mega mushroom. safe to say we're 7th and 8th place. Your powers and predictions never fail to astonish me. Well, maybe not. Okay. Those watching at home, I highly don't recommend this. Um... Did you get stuck in a corner? Yes, I did. Okay. Thankfully, you actually got stuck in a corner with some weird emulator glitch. Although nope. That's... I got lucky. I fell down. And actually hit a part of the race course. Egg, don't get in my way. I want you to finish this. Sixth place. Oh my goodness. And last place, because I drove in the grass. Forget last place, man. That's not good for the grass. <laughs> the grass, man. Got the last place. 
maybe we should just stick to one side of the map, left or right, and stick I together. I right. All right, that's what I, that's what I'll try to do as well. And don't fall off ever. Yeah. Try not to, at least. It can be impossible if you're hit by a shell, but. Up on my own shell, gotta love it. And you, Yoshi, get out of my way. I'm, I apologize if I hit you. Oh, 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 oh man! I know, you were that close to landing on the other oh. top of the bridge. I. I guess I could have tried harder to avoid me. Look out, Egg! Over easy or scramble? <laughs> Soft boiled, looks like. better, but we're still losing badly. How is that possible? I guess going right every time is a bad idea, but I don't know how the other maps work. I'm gonna try left this time. Likewise. Have you seen any of the other drivers fall off into the abyss? No. That was embarrassing. Sorry. That was you? Yeah. Okay, and left. Uh. There's, what the heck? Left bad. Left very bad. No kidding, narrow road, and I think I saw porcupine. Okay, yeah. Left and left, very bad. Maybe. Going left Looks like all roads lead here. But left has to have some advantage because how the hell are we still doing so bad? <laughs> Damn you, Bowser. Sorry. 
suck at Bowser. Uh, we're sixth and seventh, looks at it. Really? Yeah. Well, sixth and eighth now. Okay, I probably would have fallen off course enough for that porcupine. Really, the porcupine was your savior. Yeah. You got no bananas now, Bowser! Oh, I got another star. Nice. Yeah. No freaking way, Mario. No freaking way. Wario got hit by the egg. I did it. Ha ha. <gasps> Damn you, Wario. You still managed to get ahead. Wow. Well, we're gonna get past this map, and I'm gonna finish last again. In fact, I'm almost to, I'm close to getting lapped by Peach. That's how sad it is. It's a weird combination of luck and determination. But a little, a small amount of skill that gets you ahead. You just need to get the right items. I got two stars in a row. That was nice. And I slowed down before the egg covered the path, so Wario got hit. Yeah, you just need to. I don't know. Luck plays a significant part. At least we're finally ahead. Oh great, another castle-like level. Well, it looks like we're going to trade 7th and 8th, but that ain't happening. Ah, oh, there is an indoor se segment. Oh, 